Hello and welcome to Best of Friends, the show that finds out if your mates are really worthy of the title. Can you rely on them? Will they help you when you get into difficulties? Mm -hmm. Because that's what friends do, isn't it? They look after each other. I mean, like us, Rani, we take care of each other to make sure nothing goes wrong. We certainly do, but is there any reason why we're standing up for this? Um, don't think so. Sit down, if you like. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, that's better. Oh, oh um, the... Three tasks. Three treats. One's down to luck. The rest is their choice. Will they play fair? Will they play dirty? Will they still be the, the best, best of friends? We're the guys from YouTube, and we're the best of friends. Dan is my best mate, and our mum's our best mate still. Jack's really kind, and he's really confident, and he's very brave. And Tim likes girls loads, and he's going out with a girl called Danielle, and they hold hands all the time, and it's quite gross. Johnny is a real ladies' man, he's really good at all the subjects at school, and he's really funny. Tom is a very sporty person. He's, he's quite a normal person, probably the normalest in the group. All right, lads? Yes! Welcome to the show, lively little bunch. Uh, first of all, tell us how you know each other. When we've been at school, we've been, like, um, playing out and like known each other for quite a while. And um well Tim came halfway through school yeah, so he's just like joined the gang. Is it a good addition to the gang? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so Tim, what other qualities do you have as a group of mates? Um I think we're pretty funny as well because me and Johnny usually have quite a laugh at school. Mm-hmm. So did you make everyone else laugh in the yeah, classroom? Yeah. Oh. So who gets in trouble the most? Me. Me, Tom. Tim. <laughs> Tim. Yeah. Tom. Because we get, we get told off between two. Yeah, yeah and he's daft sometimes. So you'll do anything for a laugh? Yes. Well, hopefully we'll have some fun then on the tasks and the treats. We might just say something. Normally we have the girls on, they're all linking arms. I'm liking this. These lads are all nice and close. They're bonding. They are bonding. <laughs> they are good friends. Who would you say you are really our best of friends? Yeah. Yes. yes. Do you think it helps as well, being an all-boy group? Yeah. 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 Why? Because we know how to stick up for each other and stuff, and we know yeah. how to hurt each other's feelings. Yeah, we all like the same things. Yeah. One, two, three, go! We are the Jolly Lads! And we are the Lads for Lads! Yeah. Shoot, 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 shoot! Okay, boys, it's time to put your friendship to the test, and we do that by bringing in your first unlucky dip. <laughs> wow. Thank you. OK, in the bag are five sweets. Three of the sweets will turn your tongues blue. Those three will be going off to do the first task. However, the other two, they get the clear tongues, will be enjoying the first treat. In you go. Here goes, it's blue tongue time. You suck! Will it be Jack, Johnny, Tom, Daniel or Tim? One, One two, two, three! News just in. It's... Tom... Dan and Tim to task. OK, then, let's find out who's coming along with you. Let's bring in the presenter's unlucky dip. <laughs> oh, thank you. We've got our sweets. What do we do now? You suck! OK, let's find out what it is. It's a superhero lesson. Meet Super Flatliner. Flatliner. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, anyway, he's going to train you to be a superhero, and you'll believe that a man can fly. Hello, sunshine. How are you? All right, dudes? How's it going? You all right, mate? You OK? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're right. I'm fine. Don't touch me. I remember you from last time. Do you know what? You're going to believe we can fly today, yeah? You up for this? Really? And do you know what? Abs is an expert, aren't you, Abs, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Ah! 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 I definitely remember him. Tunnel of Eggy Doom. Doesn't sound good. This is the Life Centre, and they have a vertigo tunnel that is very tricky to walk through. So you have to walk through it carrying six eggs. <laughs> no dropping allowed when you go through our terrifying tunnel. 
Right, Jack, Johnny, right, are you ready yeah. to be superheroes? I can't hear you, are you ready to be superheroes? Yeah. All right, Carl, we got first of all, though, we got to change in our superhero gear, OK? Are you ready? Yeah. OK, go! Well, when I found out about the cheat, I, thought I was really excited because uh, I've always wanted to fly. I felt like um, it was, I was really excited when I first knew what was going to happen because I was like wondering what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. OK, I'm Super Flatliner. Who are you? Midget Boy! Captain Underpants! Terry Tight Pants! <laughs> All right then, Tim, off you go. One step we had to go into this tunnel which was always revolving around us and it was really hard to stand up straight and we had to hold we had to hold a tray with eggs um, on it and we had to look up and walk through the tunnel to um, the circle in the middle um, and you had to count to ten. Three eggs, four eggs, five eggs, six eggs, seven eggs. Eight, eight, nine, eight, ten, eight. And then you had to carry on walking, and then you had to walk back through the tunnel backwards, so it was really hard. Can you coming? Have a look. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Super Flatliner. <laughs> It was really fun because we got to like jump off a springboard and then onto this huge mat. <laughs> Good luck. Off you go. One step when I found out what the task was, like I was really nervous because I thought it was going to be really hard. One egg, two egg, three egg. I thought the hardest part was going to be where you had to walk backwards and like stay in the middle and and not knock any eggs off because if you did you would like feel the test. And stop. Check you. I don't think you dropped any eggs, did you? The task was quite difficult because I kept walking in at the real line. Three eggs, four eggs, five eggs. Keep coming up. Oh, oh, oh. And at the last hurdle, how's he going to do? Keep coming until toes are over the line and it's... A mighty fine finish. What did you do? We got flying lessons from Super Flatliner. We got to jump off the springboard. We ran and jumped onto these protective mats. We uh, we did have some interesting superhero names though. Did you? Yeah. Go on, tell us. Well, I was Terry Tight Pants. I was Captain Underpants. <laughs> and I was Midget Boy. Midget Boy. <laughs> so what did you do for your task? Well, we went into the Eggy Tunnel of Doom. Ooh. <laughs> we had we had to go up. Um, into this tunnel which was revolving all the time and carry a tray with six eggs on it without spilling them all. Oh, and it's really hard. So then, fellas, you want to ask the big question? Yeah. yeah. Did, did you pass, pass or, or fail? fail? Pass. 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 Hey! So that means we only need two people for the second task, but it is a little bit harder. You two can volunteer if you want to. That's one of your options, or we can use the unlucky dip to select two of you. Want to have a chat? Yeah. Yep. We'll yep. give you a bit of privacy. Wait, do you think we should do it? Yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah, and then do we you can all to do it. Yeah, yeah. it'll be fine. We're not and fine, then we all have one t um, treat. 
each. Right. Yeah. And then yeah. we'll go in the next one, and if we pass, five, we'll get all five of us. Right. Yes. Right. 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 Yep. We'll yeah. do all five of us. We'll do all five of us anyway. Yeah. So. It doesn't yeah. matter. Okay. Right. Well, right. Then. So you've been chatting away now. What's doing your second task? What kind of ideas have you come up with? Well, well, we thought it was only fair if uh, me and Jack did it, so we'll all get yeah. to do one cheat. We're not really bothered if we do it because we'll just try our best and see what happens. So, Tom, if these guys fail, will they be letting you down? No, definitely not. Give the first circle of friendship. Yeah. Okay, three. One, two, three. We are the Johnny Lads and we are the Battle Lads. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Final decision for your second task. Who is going to do it? We'll ask you, Johnny. Um, me and Jack. As will you, Rani. <laughs> no, I won't. I'm going to give her a treat this time. Oh, will she? Let's find out. Here's the presenter's unlucky dick. Oh, oh no, you poor thing. Are you OK? No, I feel Just fame. didn't see it coming. You suck! Mm. One, two, three! Mm. Yeah. It's called Where on Earth? This geography task is all about going global. You will each have two minutes to pinpoint ten countries on the globe. If between the two of you, you manage to correctly locate 16 countries, you pass the task. However, for every country missed or incorrectly located, there is a forfeit. Street dance. Become the coolest friends on the planet as you bust some moves in a street dance lesson. Cool! All right then, Jack, you ready? Yeah. Okay, your two minutes starts now. Australia is your first country. Easy. Brazil is next. When I first heard about the task, I kind of felt like it was going to be easy, but when he read out the countries in the time, it was harder than it looked. Oh, I know where this one is. Oh, there it is. Greece. Girl, you got those because we only had two minutes, it was harder because there was less time. And I think we should have got like five minutes because um, we had to stick all the countries on. And it was quite difficult. Five, four, three, two, one. Can you spread out? That's it. Right, stand with your feet together. We're going to have to do a warm-up first. So take your arms up above your head. Oh. Go on, more than that. Stretch up. Stretch, up. Stretch it. And then all the way down. I need you to touch your um, When I first heard the new, um, that we were going to do this as a treat, I was really, really embarrassed because I'm, I'm not a really good dancer, but when I, now I've actually done it, it's turned out to be really great. Your two minutes starts now. USA is your first country. When I found out about the task, I was quite comfortable because I like geography. Got well the hardest part was actually placing the things on because you had you were pressured with the time, and um, I just wanted to pass. Yep. Well done. Right, we're gonna learn a dance routine now. Okay, so put your feet together. That's it. Put your hands on your knees. Okay, and you're going to step out with your right foot and in, but not too wide. So you go out. When I walked in, I thought it was going to be very horrible because it was about dancing, but after that, it was quite good. Like this. Tap over the shoulder. Push it. Fabulous. It trick was to do some dancing called street dancing. When I heard that it was dancing, I felt really nervous, but once I got to know the moves, I felt, like, really good at it. Six, seven, eight. Fantastic. Hiya, Abs, it's Ronnie. Hello, Ronnie. Tim would like to speak to Johnny, please. Hello. Um, what have you been doing? Well, we had a really hard task. It was, like, geography. And I had to, um, place flags on a globe in two minutes. It was quite hard. I suppose it would be quite hard. What did you do? It would be in the bus and a few moves, moves, you know, having a dance lesson. God, was that bad or good? It's been really fun. Street dancing. Much better than what you've been doing anyway. <laughs> I think it's time to get serious. <laughs> Cue the music. <laughs> I've learned 
out to do a routine and and I probably will use them again in the house to show me that. You definitely didn't use many dance moves on the ladies at school. Jack, you went first. You had to get 16 between you. I can tell you that you managed to get five out of 10. Leaving you with a near impossible task, Johnny. But you did manage to get yourself nine out of 10 countries, correct? You actually ended up with 14, two countries shy. So unfortunately, that means that you failed the task. Oh, and there's the forfeit, of course. And this is your forfeit. Okay, for every country you got wrong, you have to take a plate of jelly, smear your face into it, and stick the leftovers on your head. You understand? No. Can you give us a demo? Well, it's quite simple. You just take the plate of jelly, just throw your clothes into it, like that, and with the leftover bits, just tip that on your head, and then the idea is that you get quite dirt. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I see what you've done. That's the spirit. You love it. I think our friends will feel fine um, after they know we've failed because they just don't mind. They're just calm about it because they know it's quite hard and we've tried our best. Try. Oh, Ronnie, I'm tired and I am tight. I had a meeting with my old friend Flatliner today. Oh, how was it? It was good fun. Yeah, we were superheroes, the lads enjoyed it. However, the task this afternoon, not so good. Uh, Jack wasn't that great. Messed up on a few of the countries, but they were tough, I'll give him that. They were really tough countries. All right, well, you know, Tom was top in the Vertigo challenge this yeah. morning, as was Tim, as was Dan, and they loved their treat. But I think they're a good group of guys. They'll support each other tomorrow, because they'll still need two of them to do the task, won't they? Have they got what it takes? Uh, Ben, are you all right? Did you throw that at me? No. You did? I didn't. I saw you. you I, just didn't, I, didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Ow! Ow. Get yeah, Ronnie, get here as quick as you can. It's an emergency. That's what's wrong. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, man. You are in so much trouble. You're going to have to do another task. <laughs> oh, huh? Oh! Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> You like that, That's yeah. what you call cool. But enough about our treat. You guys were doing your task. How was it? It was hard. Yeah, it, it was, was quite really hard. hard. Yeah. There was a part that we really enjoyed. It was called the forfeit, and we had some jelly. We had plates with some jelly on. And we had to smother with faces in. And it was really yes. fun. Jonathan <laughs> only had one plate, and I have five. But the reason we were putting jelly in our face was because... We failed. How are you lads feeling about that? Yeah. It's OK. Everyone fails sometimes. All right, then, boys, you know what that means? Final task, we still need two of you to do it. You can use the unlucky dip, which would be kind of fair, because you've all done a task and you've all done a treat, or two people can volunteer. If you'd like, all five of you can go on and do the final task together. That's your extra option that you've got. But it's up to you guys, so we're going to leave you for a second. Yep, discuss. We'll see you in a sec. I think we should do something like you do. Yeah. I think to make it fair. Yeah, yeah. to make it fair. Unlucky dip. What do you think? I think we should all do it. Well, no, because we've got more of a chance of losing it if we all do it. Yeah. yeah, so I think it's definitely the unlucky dip. Right. right. So what would you ideally like to do then? All of us. But what if one person fails? Say if you did fail it, uh, would you feel really guilty if the others didn't get to do the treat? Well, I think we'll just all stick up for each other, no matter what. It's the best of friends. Now, Tim, I overheard you sort of saying, I think we should definitely do the unlucky dip. Why did you say that? Because um, then it'll be a kind of fair, because if two of us volunteer and we're not the strongest people, it could all go pear-shaped, whereas if we do the unlucky dip, it's more, it's more fair. Who agrees with Tim? Yeah. Who agrees with Jack? Go on, Jack, put your hand up. Put your hands up for yourself. Jack, would you be willing to go along with these guys? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Ask three. One, two, three. Where OK, what do you want to do for the final task? Shoot, tell us. Unlucky dip? Yeah. 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 Yep, unlucky yeah. dip. Well, let's bring on your unlucky dip. Thank you very much. All right, lads, in this bag there are five sweets. 
How do you think I'm going to turn your tongues blue? Two. Two. You certainly are right, because we only need two for the final task. So, close your eyes. So, here comes the big dip. I've got their sweets. You, you suck! Tim, Daniel, Tom, Johnny and Jack could be up for it. One, two, two three. Jack and Johnny run out of luck. Take a look at each other, you can point out who's got the blue tongue. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> see. OK, well, you two are off on another task, but who's coming with them? Let's find out. Here's the presenter's unlucky dip. <laughs> OK. We've got our sweets. What do we do? You, you stop! Thank you. Here, here, here. All right then, fellas, you ready for the final task? Well, Jonathan isn't feeling very well, so is it OK with you if I just do the task by myself and let him get a rest? OK, hold on, let me just confirm that. Yeah, that's fine. Go on, pop your head down, Johnny. We'll do this one. OK, you ready to find out what it is? Yeah. You know, you're taking on the ultimate challenge here, Jack. Yeah. And it's called the Crazy Whirlwind Kit Challenge. You'll have ten minutes to transform your Newcastle kit into a Sunderland one. <laughs> The kits are reversible, but will you be able to beat the Velcro and successfully change kit in time? Remember, if you fail, there's no final treat. So this is the kit down here. You see, this side's Newcastle strip, but on the inside, the mighty Sunderland. Now you love Sunderland, don't you? No. <laughs> Tell us who you support. Newcastle. Time starts now. On the fun task, I wasn't very well. I had a very bad headache and I didn't want to let the other group I didn't want to let the group down by not doing the task. In the end, I was so bad I had to um, not do it and my good friend Jack volunteered to do it instead. Need to, need to split that one off. When we had to leave the task because he wasn't feeling very well, um, I kind of felt disappointed for him. But I kind of felt there was a bit more pressure on me because it was just me and not him either to fail or pass. So I kind of felt really like tense then, like nervous that I had to pass. That's coming to three minutes. I was proud of Jack because um, if I was in that position, I would be a bit nervous. When I heard about the task, I felt that it was going to be really hard and I wasn't sure if I was pass or fail because I didn't know, like, what to do because I knew I had to take it apart because I was just going to, like, flip it over and turn it inside out but you weren't allowed to do that, so it was quite hard. The hardest part of the task was very, um, like, the shorts and then the sleeves because the sleeves, I couldn't remember which way they went round, and the front and back of the top half, because the bottom half was easy, but the top half and the sleeves were harder, and then the shorts were really hard as well. Relax. Nah, I feel like your mum hit me dress. That's good enough for me, let's stop the clock. OK. Whew. Well, if it isn't Sunderland's latest star striker, Jack, you needed to complete the task in under 10 minutes. I can tell you that you managed to do it in 8 minutes and 25 seconds, 91 milliseconds. Well done. You passed the task. But this is the big one. Gateshead is now graced by a spectacular new bridge. A bridge that swings and you get to be in control of it. Exclusive access. But lads, it's raining. I'm not walking there. Do you fancy walking there? Mm -hmm. I think we need some transport. Oh. I think the boys will be surprised when I pass the task by myself because I'm not sure they believed in us that I was good to pass because I failed the last task. <laughs> I don't think I let them down. 
and I hope they'll have a really good time and the treat because they deserve it. Hello! Oh, yeah. Hello. 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 Right. How's it going? What time do you call this? Come on, saddle up. We've been waiting for ages, haven't we? Yeah. So, do you want to tell them something? I passed. Yeah! Oh, oh, yeah. Well done, Jack, though, wasn't Johnny with you? What's happened to Johnny? Well, he wasn't feeling very well, so I just did the task by myself and Jack went home. Congratulations. Yeah, he's not feeling too flash, but he does say, enjoy the treat now. All of us are going to be going on it together. Sounds like a cracker. And now <laughs> we are in control of the Millennium Bridge. There it is. Can we better be our main man? Go. Hi, Young Hood. We want to come round and take control of the bridge. Is that all right? Yes, come on, then. Come on, then, lads. Get round there. remember in the group was Jack because Johnny didn't feel very well and Jack took the task on by himself. Thank you for taking on the task for us, Jack. You're my best mate. The best thing about being on the show was definitely getting the control of the Millennium Bridge because I've never seen it go up or down and I've never heard anyone speak on it. The best thing about being on the show was going in the limo because it's just class. Being on the show has taught me that my friends are really loyal and always support me. But what buttons did they press? I think it was that one there. Ah. That one. That one. That one! Ah. Oh, we'll see you next time. My best of friends. Bye! Oh. Let's get out of here. Just press them on. Go! Go!